Hey everyone, it's Kyle. Azora Hype. Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 5 will feature the final battle for King's Landing, and likely the Iron Throne, and the Golden Company are going to be a huge deciding factor in what happens in King's Landing. In this video, I will explain how and why the Golden Company will break their contract with Cersei Lannister. While Cersei has been deprived of the Golden Company's prized elephants on their voyage to King's Landing, the Golden Company is still 20,000 strong of a free brotherhood of exiles and sellswords. They are considered the finest army in Essos and have never broken a contract, which is reflected in their motto, our word is as good as gold. But will they honor this contract, and is there more than meets the eye outside of their respected reputation? Let's discuss some of the possible reasons why they might break their contract. In Episode 4 of Game of Thrones of Season 8, we hear the spider Varys himself tell Daenerys that he disagrees with her plan, and straight up discuss treason with Tyrion Lannister. The precedent for Varys committing treason against his queen is not only established in his characterization, but also in a prophecy and an important book plot as well. Which begs the question, are Varys and Illyrio, who we saw with Daenerys in the very first episode of Game of Thrones, conspiring with the Golden Company to dethrone Cersei, then support Jon, who is the rightful heir to the Iron Throne? However, in the books, they broke their contract with one of the free cities and invaded Westeros under Aegon Targaryen's leadership. Their original plan was to have Viserys and Daenerys with the Dothraki Khalasar plus the Golden Company, but their plan collapsed with the death of Viserys. Their second plan after that was to have Danny and her dragons plus the Golden Company, and Illyrio informs them that Daenerys is currently at Slaver's Bay, so the first time in their history, they broke their contract and they head to Volantis. While they were waiting for Danny and Aegon's arrival, they learned that Daenerys decided to rule Slaver's Bay after burning cities to the ground and Aegon, thanks to the manipulations of Tyrion Lannister, decides they do not need Daenerys and she can join them after he reclaims the throne. While on the road though, before those things happen, Tyrion asks Illyrio, the Golden Company never broke a deal and they formed to fight against the Targaryens. Why break their contract and support the Targaryens now? Illyrio replies, some contracts are made with gold and some are made with blood. Blackfires are dead and red or black, a dragon is still a dragon. They are soldiers of exile and Daenerys will take them home. Back in Season 2 when Daenerys was in Karth, she met Quaithe, who delivered cryptic warnings about Daenerys being in danger. But here's the prophecy from the books. Soon comes the Pale Mare, and after her, the others. Kraken and Dark Flame, Lion and Griffin, the Sun's Son, and the Mummer's Dragon. Trust none of them, remember the Undying, beware the perfumed Seneschal. The important part of this for the betrayal for Daenerys is the perfumed Seneschal, which is more than likely Varys. Seneschal means advisor, and also the heavy perfume that Varys uses in the books. But let's be honest, Varys has been playing this game for a very long time, and he talked about the right person for the throne in the last episode is not necessarily someone who wants power like Cersei or Daenerys. Also, the odds are that his little birds have gotten wind of the Golden Company news and their deployment from Essos a long time ago. But Varys is the spider. He has to observe each situation while spinning his web. But the real question is, why would he tip his hand to Daenerys when he is unsure if she might end up like her father? The interesting part about this plotline is that Tyrion is involved in both situations and has a major role to play. Of course, this plot is cut in the show and we see the Golden Company support the claims of a secret Targaryen who may be a Blackfire in Young Griff who believes he is Aegon Targaryen, the son of Rhaegar Targaryen in the books. Varys has been observing everything that Daenerys has been doing, and also what Jon was doing in Winterfell. So one potential twist we could see is the Golden Company betraying Cersei with the help of Varys. The Golden Company has a long history of being Targaryen supporters, and for the male Targaryen heir who's left Jon, who is Aegon Targaryen, we could see them support Jon over Daenerys. Varys did make it very clear to Daenerys that he wasn't supportive of her plan. We also can't rule out the possibility that the Iron Bank will have a hand in the demise of Cersei Lannister. We heard Tycho Nestoris talk openly about how Daenerys has dragons to Cersei Lannister. And one thing I found really, really interesting, and in my personal opinion that wasn't just a throwaway line, was how Tycho perked up when Cersei gave him information that Euron was gathering the Golden Company. He said, I know them well when he mentions the Golden Company and how they recovered debt for the Iron Bank. Now, we know that Cersei gave the Iron Bank a huge sum of money, but it's in the Iron Bank's interest to keep the crown in debt, so it can continue to have leverage with whoever sits on the Iron Throne. It's why Tycho offers his services to Cersei with her current ventures. 
It's also possible that Euron conveniently left Cersei's name off of the contract so they could switch sides in a scenario, but it's highly unlikely since Euron will more than likely be getting roasted by Daenerys and Drogon in the next episode. And we also can't forget about Jaime's impact in this situation. I believe that it's him in this shot who is behind the Golden Company. This hood looks very similar to the one we saw Jamie wear when he was sneaking into Winterfell in episode 1 of season 8, but the fact that he had to sneak back in King's Landing suggests that he came back to kill Cersei after all. It definitely looks like he will have competition though with Euron possibly being upset with what Tyrion revealed about Cersei's pregnancy, Varys who will more than likely betray Daenerys, Arya who wants to kill Cersei, and the Hound who wants to kill his brother. Cersei may think she's in a position of strength, but she's target number one in the Seven Kingdoms, and in my opinion, it's not looking good for her prospects of surviving the next episode. She's going to need the Golden Company more than ever, and she better hope that they don't break their contract. But what do you think will happen? Will the Golden Company honor their contract? Does the Iron Bank, Euron, Varys, or anyone else have a secret plan with the Golden Company to turn on Cersei? Let me know your thoughts, your theories, and tinfoil in the comment section. Tomorrow, I will be doing a video on the Clegane Bowl, so be on the lookout for that. And if you want to watch more Game of Thrones videos like this one, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming daily Game of Thrones videos I'll be releasing on the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video. Hype and love.